Hi everyone, I'm Kendra. Welcome to Crazy Happy Healthy. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about female hormone imbalance. Um, so a lot of women are struggling with this. Um, maybe most women are struggling with this actually. And you know, if you have hormone imbalance, you're going to be dealing with things like PMS, weight gain, energy problems. Um, maybe you're having problems sleeping. Pretty much you can have any symptom. And this is because hormone imbalance is so important to every system in the body. Um, so I want to kind of address um, one of the reasons why this can typically happen. Okay, so it really comes down to the function of the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands are two glands and they sit on top of the kidneys. And they're responsible for making some of the sex hormones. The other amounts of them are made in the ovaries, but we're really concerned with what's going on in the adrenals. So your adrenal glands, they make all your sex hormones, so that includes your estrogens, progesterone, testosterone, and DHEA, another anabolic hormone, um, but they also make cortisol. And cortisol is a stress hormone, as some of you may know, and um, when you're stressed out, your body gives it off. And the reason for this is because cortisol can help immobilize blood sugar and basically take all your energy out of your rest and digest functions and then put it into the muscular and skeletal system. And this allows you to kind of, you know, run from the bear, fight the bear, have that sort of superhuman strength that is sometimes associated with these really extreme events. But the big problem is that uh, your body only has one stress response. So it doesn't differentiate between you running from a bear and you being stuck in traffic and maybe being stressed out or angry at the driver in front of you. So anytime you feel stressed, your body is just having that one response. So, and because of this, cortisol is a survival hormone. It allows you to survive when you're in these kind of crazy situations like running from a bear. Um, so your body is always going to preferentially make cortisol um, over your other hormones. So this can be okay in short term, you know, if you're just kind of, short-term stress, producing the cortisol, and then, you know, you're not stressed out anymore, and then your body goes back to producing your sex hormone. But it really becomes a problem when we're chronically stressed. And, you know, chronic stress can come in a number of forms. So it could be stress at work, you know, you hate your job, or, you know, you have a lot of deadlines, and you're really stressed out. You know, it could be you're in a really stressful relationship. But it can also be a physiological thing, and it could be these hidden stressors like food intolerance, uh, liver congestion, nutritional deficiency, it could be, you know, gut infections, all these things can cause uh, stress on the body. And this chronic stress means that cortisol is produced all the time and your sex hormones are depleted as a result. So, you know, this becomes a major issue, um, especially um, getting into menopause uh, because the ovaries stop producing the sex hormones and the body mainly relies on the adrenal glands to produce them. So if there's chronic stress, then the sex hormones aren't getting produced and then, you know, you end up with all these crazy symptoms like hot flashes and, you know, trouble, trouble sleeping and, you know, it can really be a nightmare. So the key to addressing female hormone imbalance is to, you know, reduce stress, um, both mentally, but also finding these hidden stressors that are in the body, you know, addressing the food intolerance and, you know, gut pathogens, liver congestion, and that sort of thing. So I hope that made sense. And um, if you like this video, uh, make sure to head over to crazyhappyhealthy.com and check out some of the other things that I'm writing about over there. And make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.